So Katie had a had a big night, a tough night. You yeah, know, the two tough. races, but really came back strong to, to make the final there. Yeah, real tough night. I, I think you know, getting um, she was joking that her 200 free was a good warm up for a 200 fly, <laughs> and um, you know, just a great example of taking one thing at a time. And um, it's got a lane tomorrow night, and that's that's the um, you know all you can ask for. And um, I'm sure she'll she'll put together a good swim tomorrow. So. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, you know, Missy ends up making yeah, the team in the, in the 200 free. In the free. 200 free, um, Sierra Rungi uh, <laughs> making it. So, um, you know, good good 200 frees. And um, really, I mean, the U.S., is, especially on the women's side, is going to have a, um, a great 800 free relay. And I'm sure Missy's happy to get an individual event and um, kind of get that, you know, get the ball rolling for her. So. And then, unfortunately for Caitlin, I mean, Sam, a great race. Yeah. You know, just came up a fingernail short there at the finish. Yeah, it's just you know, um, you just see it's a it's a, a meet of uh, of hundreds of a second, you know. And and I was saying earlier, we, you know, between her and and Amy, you know, 0 0.13 and goes a different way. And and you have two bears that are on the Olympic team, and you have two now that are kind of on the outside looking in, but. Really proud of Caitlin. I mean, just an amazing career. Um, that's her best time since London. And just to stay in it at a world-class level for about a decade. I mean, it's been since about 2007, I think was her first major international meet, the Pan Ams. And um, just couldn't be prouder of her and left it all in the pool. So it's, um, it's bittersweet, you know. And then there's just the knowing that um, you just don't get to see her at workout anymore, and 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 that, and um, you know, it's not the storybook ending that we would have liked. But um, you know, Melanie and and Maya have had a great couple years, and so um, you know, the three of them have kind of been going back and forth, and and it is what it is. And um, I know she's going to be fine, and you know, like I told him, the sun's going to come up tomorrow. We're going to carry on, and um, it's going to be okay. <laughs> well, she's, you know, she's always been one of the most outgoing, positive people yeah, to be yeah, around, and so yeah. that's going to serve her well. Yeah, definitely. So. I mean, you know, the skills that she's learned as a world-class athlete are going to um, translate into a world-class life, I think. And, you know, she has a desire to stay in athletics and maybe get into administration and stuff. And, you know, the successes as well as these disappointments are, are really... Um, it's what it's about. It's why you do. It's why you do sports, you know. And and you can't ask for anything but your best effort. And she gave it her best effort. And I, you know, I couldn't be, couldn't be prouder of her. And proud of me. And proud of her teammates for, um, you know, the support. So.